Since the inception of the Lucy C. Laney High School Alumni Association, there has been no shortage of support to Laney students, administration, and staff. The Alumni Association has been front and center in its efforts, providing resources and finances to its past and current administration. Consistently, their work has been unparalleled. Uh, my first experience with the Alumni Association uh, with, was with Mr. Johnny Nims and Mr. Eugene. Uh, those individuals contacted me uh, right after my uh, uh, I was named the principal of Lucy Laney High School. At that time, Laney was on the state uh, guidance. Uh, it was observed and, and monitored by the state. And so my goal was to move us from out under the state. And uh, without the Alumni Association, I would not have been able to do that. They provided many of their resources that I needed, uh, not just uh, uh, money, but uh, manpower. They were there for me during the athletic seasons and during our banquet seasons, during our student achievement award seasons, even uh, cheerleaders, uh, they were there. They were there for everything we needed. I just called them, talked to them, and they were provided uh, for me. Uh, and that went on at least four years uh, without reservations. Uh, they loved the Lucy Lane High School, and I appreciate the resources that they provided for us. Well, the most important thing that I was impressed with them was their consistency. Uh, it was never uh, any lag in what they, uh, they would do for, for the school and for the students. If it was about students, they were there. My name is Dr. Marquez Hall, former principal of Lucy Craft Laney High School, a 2001 graduate of Lucy Craft Laney High School. I served as principal at Laney uh, starting in 2020 and ended my tenure at the, uh, December 2021. So my initial experience was great. Uh, the president, Eugene Hunt, reached out to me as well as the vice president, Trey Walker. Uh, both told me the same thing and that's the fact that they were there to support me in supporting the school. One of the major ways that the Alumni Association provided support during my tenure, uh, which was during the pandemic, was the souvenir booklet. I can remember uh, I came in in June of 2020 uh, at the height of the pandemic, and the Alumni Association wanted to do something special for the students because they didn't get a normal graduation. So they were able to come through and make a souvenir booklet that was given out in color to each and every graduate. So that was great for the students and they've continued that legacy uh, the next year and the following year. The thing that I'm most impressed with is how they galvanize together uh, to make a difference for the school. Most entities that give to Laney want something in return. Laney Alumni Association is one of the only entities that I know of that doesn't get anything in return for everything that they give. They've always been there whenever I needed something. As a principal, every time I asked, it was given. I'm gonna first start off with uh, the introduction of with Mr. Latre Walker. Uh, he came and spoke with me about uh, the Alumni Association currently at Lucy C. Laney High School. He was very instrumental in me with transitioning and understanding uh, the, how the alumni work. In addition to, he introduced me to Eugene Hunt, uh, who's the current president of the Alumni Association. Since being principal of Lucy C. Laney High School, the alumni has purchased two microwaves to be utilized by our student body during lunchtime to warm their foods. In addition to their purchase, a popcorn machine to be utilized by the staff as well as our students to just show appreciation and award them for great things they're doing here at Lucy Laney High School. And lastly, the alumni has donated a total of $500 to offset the lunch for our staff for Staff Appreciation Week in May. Even with all the support given to Laney High School, the Alumni Association has also managed to extend its reach beyond 1339 Lady Walker Boulevard to historically black colleges and universities through its annual college tour 
named after its first president. I'm blessed that it is named after me. The board of directors saw fit to name it after me, the Johnny C. Nims Historic the Black College Tour. But every year we take uh, our senior students uh, to uh, visit the Historic the Black Colleges in Georgia and to expose them to things. The Johnny C. Nims Georgia Historically Black College Tour exposes seniors to various HBCUs, such as Payne College, Clark Atlanta, Spelman, Morehouse, Fort Valley State, Savannah State, and Albany State University. The students also toured the Center for Civil and Human Rights in downtown Atlanta. The tour was fully funded by the Alumni Association and totally free for the students. The tour was well attended and culminated with an exclusive tour of Albany State University with our very own Dr. Marion Ross Fedrick. Hello, I'm Marion Ross Fedrick, president of the unsinkable and indestructible Albany State University and a 1984 graduate of Lucy Craft Laney High School. To the Lucy Craft Laney Alumni Association, congratulations on 10 years. You've done our institution well. When Judge LaJoy Williamson realized that I was president of Albany State University and a Lucy Craft Laney alumni, she immediately reached out and scheduled a college tour for our Wildcats to come to Albany State. I was excited, I was overjoyed, and it was wonderful to be able to host that many students on our campus. Our campus is always excited and welcoming for our Lucy Craft Laney students to come on campus for alumni tours. Our last alumni tour, we had over 20 students from Lucy Craft Laney who came to our campus and engaged with our students and our faculty and staff. We love having our students on campus. Thank you to the Lucy Craft Laney Alumni Association for bringing Wildcats to the ASU campus. This is critical for those students in their next phase. Giving back to the students through resources and experience has not been the only gift given to the students of Laney High School. The association also allows memories to be held long term by its graduating seniors. I am extremely proud of the fact that we've been able to offer to the seniors who are graduating from here what is called a Senior Souvenir Memory Booklet. It's not a yearbook, but it's very close to a yearbook where all the students have an opportunity to have their pictures and their career objectives and everything put in a in, a, in the form of a, a book. And this is the book that we give to each of the students for free, no cost to them. The Lucy C. Laney High School Alumni Association has held many fundraisers from homecoming balls, membership drives, alumni tag campaigns, and a very successful alumni brick fundraiser but none has been more important to the viability of the association than the annual Hall of Fame banquet inaugurated in 2015. And in that class, we uh, inducted six individuals. Of course, uh, top of the list was Miss Lucy C. Laney herself. Then we had Mr. John M. Tutt, we had Mr. Bert Thomas, we had Mr. Emerson Boozer, we had Jesse Norman. So you can see these are some outstanding individuals who graduated from either Haynes or from Lucy C. Laney High School. Since then, the Alumni Association has raised over $150,000 in funds, inducting such greats such as Frank Yerby, Senator Charles Walker, Father Bowler, Jesse Norman, Emerson Boozer, Thomas Walter Joseph, and Jim Dent along with many, many more. From being organized was to offer help to the school. And, you know, academically, we were hoping, you know, do anything we can to improve the, you know, the students academically, as well as any other phase of the school uh, that they needed help in. And all the principal had to do was submit a request to us and I don't think we've turned down any request that we received over the years that we've been in operation. Our association has been able to do a lot of things at Lucy Lane High School. You know, we've been able to help a lot of curricula and extracurricular activities and support them financially. You know, we 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 bought choir robes, we bought uh, football equipment, baseball equipment, basketball equipment state rings for students, uh, contributed money for field trips, 
supported uh, uh, teacher meetings, uh, you know, you name it, we've done it. We've sent students abroad. Uh, our association has done things that uh, I am so, so proud of. Everywhere I go, you know, even when I go abroad, uh, where, 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 where you from? I was in, uh, whoa, we was in somewhere in Spain and met this guy, are you familiar with the United States? And he said, where, where y'all from, where y'all from? I said, we from Georgia. We're from Atlanta, you know, Augusta. He said, that what a nice one. I said, yeah. I bet you went to the lane. <laughs> I said, well, how you know that? I know. He said, that everywhere, man. <laughs>